obviously we all love our kids and and uh, we all have certain things about our certain kids that we love the most and and so one of the things that I love the most about my daughter is my daughter was the most creative young person I had ever met and ever come in contact with and like she you put mac and cheese down in front of her and she would just do a mac and cheese dance or if you gave her a hamburger she would make that hamburger talk to you and give it a voice and we would give her a doll and she would write a play for the doll and you would watch it in the living room like a half an hour later. Just, it was always creativity and I loved it. So when she was six and a half years old, my wife and I, we bought her a cat. And she said, I would like to write a poem about that cat and read it at the talent show. And I said, okay. So this is the poem that my daughter <laughs> wrote about her cat that she read in front of the entire school and I just put it to music. Ooh, I love her, my pussy. I like to hug her, my pussy. Yeah, my pussy likes to run around. My pussy, she makes the cutest sounds, my pussy. She can be scary, my pussy. She's really hairy, my pussy. Yeah, my pussy sleeps right on my chest. My pussy, she likes my brother best, my pussy. She's as happy as can be. She's part of the family Yeah, she likes to sleep All over the place Ooh, My pussy, she lick your face Ooh, My pussy, she lick your face Thank you I want you to know, when she opened with Who I Love Her My Pussy, I turned to my wife, I'm like, hey, we gotta go. <laughs> she said, why? I was like, the chorus is my pussy. Like, she's going back to it at least a couple more times. We, we gotta get the fuck out of here, you know? She goes, yeah, but if we leave, she's gonna be humiliated. I said, yeah, but if we stay, we're gonna be humiliated. <laughs> we gotta get out of here, you know? We stayed, my wife is a better person than I am. And, uh, so we're waiting outside of the auditorium for the kids to come out and the parents to come out first. And look, we all know we live in a generation with some judgy fucking parents. And they were streaming out of that auditorium, walking past me like this. And one woman just walked up to me and she goes, you know, you really ought to proofread your daughter's poetry before she reads it in front of the whole school. And she walked off. And her husband walked up to me and goes, your house sounds fun. He just high-fived me like that. <laughs>